Hey guys, it's um, Jim from Jag FX, and it is Monday, 28th of November, 2016, start of a new week. Um, Alright, we'll just go through the four hour charts tonight, just to give you an idea of where we're at. Um, there will be less charts now, I am going to switch back to the daily charts. Um, the reasons being, I think I'm doing you guys a bit of a disservice with the four hour charts. Um, I just find it hard to keep on top of all the updates and that, and the spreadsheets and um, the proper analysis. You know, it's. I think I'm just sort of skimming over things. Whereas with the daily charts, I can sit down, actually have a good think about it, prepare some decent notes, and it'll be um, a lot better for you guys. It'll be a lot, um, a lot more consistent. I know the, <laughs> the four-hour charts haven't been exactly kind to me result-wise, but that's that's not the reason. It's mainly just to reduce my sort of workload and make it a bit more fluid uh, fluid for you guys, that's all. So we'll just go through the four hour charts at the moment and I'll just flick over the daily charts and just have a show you what I mean shortly. So as usual we start off with the Aussie Canadian. Um, we're still in a buy from this blue line and there's the stop there, I've moved it up and we took a sell and broke that trend line there, it's still a valid sell signal. So we're basically in two trades, so I'm happy with with this. It's all good. Aussie um, Swiss franc still on the buy. I uh, was in a sell before. Took the sell in here somewhere, um, and it went up and stopped me out. But there's a fair chunk of change in that buy that's um, locked in. I've already taken half, and the stop's right up here now. So even though it's a loss, oh, that buy is going to cover it well and truly. Aussie, Aussie New Zealand uh, wasn't a sell on this and it got into the, just got into this area here and it just looks a bit ugly, a bit cramped. There's no clear direction on the markets. Uh, MACD is getting near the zero level so I just closed it out of break even. Just want to be safe and sorry and always um, look at drawing a trend line and looking for a re-entry if I think it's going to be a valid but I might just hold off on this one. Aussie USD going nowhere, there's divergence forming. If it rolls over, it'd be nice, it'd be a nice sell signal. Um, yeah, it's just nothing happening at the moment. <laughs> this one, Canadian, um, Swiss franc. Now, I was in a sell in this, and it got down in this level down around the um, moving average, 50 moving average. And I've got this blue dot down here, and I was just going to close it out at break even, but I had a swap that was like minus three dollars fifty or something like that, and I just couldn't cover the swap. But I missed, you know, one more pip, and I would have just closed it out, but then it shot up and stopped me out, which is a bit silly on my part, but that's the way it is. Obviously, something moved the Canadian dollar. I'm not sure what it was. There's nothing in the news. Um, Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Yeah, it's just it's these yen pairs are driving me nuts, but there's nothing happening here at the moment. Euro, Swiss franc, nothing happening there either. I'll probably extend that trend line a bit. And yeah, it's pretty boring. It's a pretty ugly pair on the four hour, this one. The Euro, USD in a cell on this new signal here. There was some divergence. Not a great deal, but that's just about a double top on the MACD Platinum and a higher high on the um, price, which price went up into MAs, which to me is a good, nice, clean signal and got the red dot. So at the moment we're going the wrong way, but that's just the way trading is. So we'll just wait and see how it pans out. New Zealand Canadian, now I'm still in this buy from back here. Now I took this sell, basically the same as the Euro. Uh, except without the divergence, it was a nice price has gone up basically to the 240 LMA. Touched it, it dropped down, got the red candle, uh, red um, dots on both indicators. It's a good sell. So I'm locking in long there, short there. So I'm locking in that small loss there. Stops either side. You know, <laughs> ideal scenario whether it happens or not. If it just shoots off one way, a million pips. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way. <laughs> Can't see it happening, but uh, it'd be nice. All right, New Zealand, um, nothing doing here. I'm still kicking myself a bit. I should have taken this buy down here. There's a blue come under here. And 
the only thing that was holding me back off market is it's the 70 level, 0 0.7000 level. So it's a fairly big number when it comes to New Zealand dollar. And it went up nicely. Could have got a few pips out of that, but not to be. Uh, look for a sell now to the, to the downside if I'm going to take a four out and trade. Uh, USD, Japanese yen, my old mate. Um, probably should take and look to take a profit sooner, half profit when it comes down near this um, moving average. I was a bit late. I have taken half um, and I've moved my stop to the break even. It looks like it's just about to roll up to the upside again. Now, if I could get a buy here, I'd probably take it. Um, if I'm awake, we'll see what happens there. But I've got a bit of prof profit out of it, and it's not going to lose anything, so it's good. Uh, but this one might. Aussie Japanese yen uh, in a sell. As you can see, we're at probably the break-even point now. Price is at the MACD level, MACD platinum. Once I finish this video, I might just close that out if it's a break-even. Stops only a couple of pips above anyway, so it's not, it's pretty tight. So if it does lose, it's only going to be a small loser. Canadian, Japanese, yen, uh, another pair I'm in, two trades. Uh, there's the buy there, the sell there, so I'm locking in a loss. Stops are pretty tight, so I'm just looking for a break either way. These yen pairs, doing my head in. Uh, don't worry about the Euro Canadian, I'm in a mess of trades that one. Uh, Euro NZ in a sell. Um, it's really not going anywhere, but still, I could probably move the stop down a little, uh, but it's with the trend. You know, the, it's, it's not a fast moving pair at the moment, but it's, it's, it's grinding down, so no reason to be anything but a sell. Uh, at least it's profitable, I guess, at the moment. Pound yen in a sell here. Um, stops at break even. Just hasn't really taken off. Like a lot of these yen pairs, they sort of just tease me a bit. Trend line up a bit. Um, yeah, I wish they just head down. Be nice, but there's still a few pips in, so it's all good. Pound Swiss in a sell. Not exactly setting the world on fire. Um, but down a few pips here. Yeah, it's a bit hard. The pound pairs are a bit like the yen pairs at the moment. They're um, not sure which way they want to go. So it'd be nice for that to go and head down. GPNZ. Now I've taken half already. The price got into the MAs here, so we're in a sell, which is good. Stops at break even, so I can't lose it here. It'd be great to see the pound New Zealand just fall like a rock down to the 240 LMA, that would make my day, that would get some pips back. So yeah, that's it for the four hour charts guys. You know, you gotta to remember too, generally after, um, we just had Thanksgiving in the US last Thursday I believe, um, and so we're only one month from Christmas, so the trading volume will start reducing in the next couple of weeks, and whereas basically it winds down over Christmas and won't start again fully until sort of the early in January, probably um, late in the first week or early in the second week, depending on what the calendar, how the calendar falls. Um, so just be aware of that. Volatility may be a bit all over the shop. And that's another one of the reasons I'm switching to the daily. I've set up the daily charts here um, on one of my other accounts, slightly different color. Um, and you, you know, you look at the, where's the, Japanese yen. Look at that. What a great trade that would have been, that buy trade there. Whether I would have taken it or not, who knows, because that candle with a big, um, what do you call wick or tail, that was during the US election, so, but they're just so much cleaner, the signals, and there's less of them. Plenty I can do, um, gives me more time to do analysis and that, you know, so, yeah, looking forward to getting back on the daily charts. They're not, not all rainbows and unicorns but they're just sometimes a bit easy to trade and uh, so yeah the nice cleaner moves but we'll see in the meantime we've got a few four hour trades going and um, so we'll just see how they pan out and as I said volatility is a bit lower at this time of the or bit, can be a bit more volatile with less volume so what you're getting is um, 
pattern, patterns that are probably a little bit all over the shop and a little bit hard to interpret. But um, yeah, it's just it's probably it's either daily or even drop down a, if you day trader, you know, something on the 15 minute charts or something, just do a few hours each day. That should be all right. Anyway, thanks guys for, um, once again, thanks for being members of the group and uh, buying the books, etc., and being on the mailing list. It's all greatly appreciated. And as usual, if anyone wants to chat Forex or just chat about their own trading or, you know, want some feedback or bounce some ideas off me or anything like that, uh, you can contact me either through the Facebook group or um, through my email at jagfx33 at gmail.com. And other than that, I'll get this video up and um, all's good. And thanks again. Cheers.